The Belgian Malinois is not a dog that everyone has heard of. For many, this might look a bit like a German Shepherd dog that was mixed with some other breed, but it is not. The Belgian Malinois does have some similar characteristics to the GSD, however, so it is not all that far-fetched that this mistake is one that could be made. It's a lovely dog that has a wonderful personality and actually makes a good pet. However, if you're not all that sure you know what type of dog breed you want to bring into your family, we urge you to consider a dog that you know a little something about. The Belgian Malinois, while lovely, is not the dog that is right for all families. There are certain breeds that work well with certain families and others that do not. This might be the dog you've been waiting your entire life to find, but it might not. The best way to ensure a Belgian Malinois is going to make a great pet for you is to educate yourself. Find out what you can expect of this breed in terms of its personality, what you can expect and how this dog will live in your home. For your convenience, we've rounded up all the most important points associated with the Belgian Malinois, and we have them here for you to learn so you know whether or not this is the breed for you. Before going into the video, we are giving away a free video series that teaches the quick and easy way to an obedient dog without spending hours of training and thousands of dollars. So make sure to get yours by clicking the first link in the description. Now let's get into today's video. Personality and Temperament the Belgian Malinois is a dog that has a very special personality. It is a dog that is very obedient and eager to please, and it is very protective. However, it's prone to shyness and should be socialized from day one to ensure that this dog does not become so shy and withdrawn that it does not want to be around humans. The Belgian Malinois lives best with a firm owner who is not difficult or heavy-handed. Consistency, firmness and kindness are the keys to keeping this dog happy and ensuring that he is able to properly behave in any given situation. The Belgian Malinois is a dog that is very sweet, and it's one that has a lovely personality. It's a very good dog for a task such as protecting your family or being a watchdog. It's a family dog, too, so it needs frequent human interaction. You will find that the Belgian Malinois does very well when it's able to get out and play with the family, and it's a dog that's very good with kids. A great idea for this dog and your kids is to get them outside for a little while every day. This allows them to play, to interact and to enjoy the time that they have together. It's good for all their development, and it helps the dog feel more like he belongs to the family. This is very good for his self-esteem and his behavior. With a lot of energy and a very intelligent mind, this is a dog that you should be very careful to introduce to smaller animals since it is a dominant breed. Lifestyle and Expectation The Belgian Malinois is a dog that has a little size to him, but he is not a huge dog. What you can expect of this breed is a dog that is going to stand around 26 inches tall and weigh anywhere from 55 to 65 pounds. It's more common for the male Belgian Malinois to stand a little taller and weigh just a little more than the female, and it's not something that should come as a concern if your female is smaller than your male. Surprisingly, for such an active dog, the Belgian Malinois is one that does all right living in an apartment. Of course, it all depends on how much you exercise your dog and how much you are able to get your dog out of the house to enjoy life. He needs sufficient exercise to be happy and healthy, and you will have to provide this for your Belgian Malinois if you live in a small house or a large one. A big yard and a job is something that this dog would really love to have in his life, and it might prove beneficial to consider these in your own home. The Belgian Malinois has an average lifespan of around 13 years, which means it's a dog that requires a significant commitment from the people that adopt it, buy it and bring it home. However, if you do not want to care for a large litter, we recommend that you get your dog fixed so that you don't end up with a litter between 6 and 10 puppies, which is the average size for this particular breed. Known Health Problems as a Malinois is a purebred they are more likely to suffer health problems than crossbreeds and hybrids due to a smaller breeding pool. However as far as health problems go, Malinois are a pretty healthy breed. With them you have three main causes for concern. Hip dysplasia. Elbow dysplasia. Eye problems, cataracts, progressive retinal atrophy. Eye problems in particular can be devastating for this breed. Issues like cataracts are more common in older Malinois and also progressive retinal atrophy. We talk about this in more detail later on but it's worth mentioning again here, any reputable breeder will be able to offer certification and proof of health checks. If they are unable to do so, you should leave. In terms of hip and elbow dysplasia you can minimize the chance of this by ensuring you buy your dog from a breeder with evidence of good hip and elbow scores throughout the pedigree. How much do Belgian Malinois cost? Belgian Malinois puppies cost $1,000 to $2,500 depending on their lineage. Obviously if you're looking to buy a pre-trained Belgian Malinois the price will increase significantly. Belgian Malinois trained as guard dogs start from $20,000. Breed History 
The Belgian Malinois is not one of the most popular dogs in the world. It's not the breed you find in every single household. Sure, you will find it more here or there than other places, and sometimes it's a dog that you see everywhere. But, for the vast majority of people the Belgian Malinois is not a dog that you see too often. The breed's name, Belgian Malinois, actually comes from a Belgian city by the name of Malines. It's one of four different Belgian sheepdogs, and they are highly popular in Belgium. The breed is one that's been around for a very long time, and it's used often in police work. It's got a very distinct nose and ability to detect dangerous items, and it's been used as a police dog in Belgium for many years. There is no much know about where the Belgian Malinois actually comes from, where it was originally bred or how long it's been around. What's known is that the Belgian Malinois actually resides primarily in Belgium and does hard work. It's good at its job and that is all people need to know when this breed is saving lives and changing the world with its amazing personality and intelligence. And don't forget to check out the free video series that teaches the quick and easy way to an obedient dog without spending hours of training and thousands of dollars. So make sure to get yours by clicking the first link in the description. If you like the video then make sure to hit that like button. Also if you want more dog training guides, information then make sure to subscribe our channel. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments and thank you for watching.